Oh my goodness. So we've just got to Cornwall. In fact, we got here an hour ago, but I've been trying to put up my tent for the past hour. However, it is gale force winds. I've got an eight man tent I'm trying to put up myself from Asda. I just can't do it. I'm having a bit of a meltdown right now, but this is what's gonna happen. This storm whatever it is this hurricane is going to blow over and then we are going to have the best trip ever we have come down to cornwall just me and tia for some r and r and we are on like the nicest campsite and there's like a little tiki sauna massage hut yoga it's just the wind <laughs> Like, I'm gonna show you the tent. There's a the tent out of the window. Goodness sakes. And this is our view. Got some nice storms coming in there. Brilliant. And there's the rest of the campsite. There's literally like only three tents here in total and two of them are really like sturdy and one of them's gone <laughs> one of them is on the floor and then there's mine that i just cut out like i can i try getting it up but then it feels like a parachute and it feels like i'm just gonna like it's all gonna rip or something i don't know i just don't feel like today should have been the day i'm kind of deflated right now i'm not gonna lie i was so excited for down no stop it amy we all going to have a good time <sighs> you know when you just like romantic romanticize something like picture it in your head this is not what i pictured the view's nice i might just sleep in the car <laughs> So I managed to get it up, <laughs> but oh my gosh, I'm scared. I'm actually quite scared. She's just getting in bed already. <laughs> We're making a hot chocolate. I've had to bring this thing inside. I don't know if you meant to bring them inside or not, but it was so windy outside. The thing wasn't staying on, so. I have not used my pots and pans. I had a jacket potato from the stand down there. Honestly, this is not what I had got pictured. <laughs> this is not what I got pictured at all. I'm praying. Look at this. Like the f the door is gonna come in. Um, I'm praying that tomorrow. I don't think tomorrow's gonna be any better. I think. Tomorrow's gonna rain all day. <laughs> but then after tomorrow it should get nice. Fingers crossed. So we're just gonna roll with it and like hopefully survive these next few days and then start to have a good time. Because right now, I don't know if I'm having a good time. I really don't know if I am or not. I mean it's completely taken my mind away from reality. And that's what a holiday is all about, right? <laughs> oh god. We've survived. We've survived our first night. Oh my gosh. <laughs> oh wow, we've already done, we've been up since like half five. So we've already done 10,000 steps. And now I'm just gonna make some oh, oats with protein. In fact, that's already hot, so. With uh, peanut butter and ch chuck chaff. It's all stuck to the bottom. Oh, poo. I mean, what a view. Look 
du Clemens. Oh, ich komme, ich bin einfach mit der Tacke. Und dann sehen wir inside. night i cannot believe we've survived another night like last night was insane we've got these people over here that are just like oh, i don't know how to zoom in on this camera but yeah they've like tied their tent to three benches and it's still collapsed there's another one over there that's collapsed and then theirs is theirs is strong they've got a strong setup but ours is still up Oh, I don't know how to zoom out. <laughs> Ours is still up. I'm not even giving you a house tour yet because I've not been able to have the doors open. Um, I'm just making breakfast now. What are we on? Day three? Is it day two or day three? Like last night was night two. I don't even know anymore. But basically we are cooking a breakfast in the boot of the car because I nearly set the tent on fire yesterday. <laughs> <sighs> Bloody hell. Shall I give you a tent tour? Okay, this is our little garden. This is our kitchen now. We did have a kitchen inside, but this is our kitchen now. And then this is our view, which is amazing. Here's our little garden. We walk in. And it's a bit of a mess because I wasn't prepared for a tent tour. We've got our unmade bed. Uh, uh, bits and bobs are there more bits and bobs <laughs> we've got like our clothes and dry stuff over there and then our kitchen stuff we've got loads of food, loads of goods we've eaten most of it though <laughs> we've got a barbecue for if we ever get the chance to barbecue do you know what though Look at, look, watch this, watch this look when you open the tent that is our view like that is insane it's better in the night time because the sunset's just there but yeah the weather's meant to pick up now after today like it's meant to rain at some point this morning and then it's gonna get good fingers crossed because if not i'm i'm going home i've had enough <laughs> i'm not gonna lie i cried earlier tea's gone to bed are you going to bed? One minute then. Good girl. You gonna nights? You gonna nights? Yeah. I had a little cry earlier. <laughs> it's just like this holiday was meant to be the most relaxing therapeutic trip of a lifetime. And it's turned out to be the most stressful. <laughs> like I am lying in that tent and it's 4 a.m. And all you can hear is like, I'll put a little clip in that I did on my phone last night. Obviously it's pitch black so you can't see anything. And but it's just like proper loud the wind's like you feel like you're gonna take off the rain don't bother me as much the rain's fine but the wind you just feel like you're gonna take off and i just i'm lying there not knowing if i'm gonna be there in the morning or not <laughs> three miles in a different field fuck's sake but yeah these campsite like we've got yoga we've got a little tiki um sauna thing what else have we got? Yoga, tiki sauna, massage. I was gonna get a massage, but I'm too stressed. <laughs> I'm too stressed. There's yoga in in the mornings. Tomorrow morning, in fact. But fuck that. Like, I'm not sitting in a field in the gale force winds. No. Ah, that's 
hot. Ah, really hot. So we have been a, um, I don't know how many miles we did this morning, maybe about four or something. Because I can't sleep. I've only had two hours sleep. And so, but like, it was a bit late this morning. Yesterday we went at half six. I think today we went at about quarter past seven. And that was nice. And obviously, I am making my oats. Chocolate whey, peanut butter, chalk shop, standard. I bought myself a coffee from the coffee van because there's a nice little coffee van as well. £3.50. Imagine if I'm doing that every time. It'll cost me a fortune. Could have afforded an Airbnb at that rate. So we're going on to making our own coffees now. Right, there's our breakfast. Oh wait, we've not put the chocolate. Oh, uh -uh. Here she is. <laughs> She's so cute. What are you doing? I've got my engine on just to charge my phone. Because I've got, obviously I've got no electro. Tia's is a little legend. I don't know how she sleeps through it. Oh god. Could not do this without her. <laughs> Is this what you call character building? Oh, it's not building a very nice character, I tell you now. <laughs> oh gosh. It makes me appreciate home. It makes me appreciate oh I think it's time to rain. Oh, Yeah, but look at that sea and like the sun's starting to come out oh my gosh the sun is starting to come out There has been a development. We can now have the tent door open. There's no wind, it is red hot. I'm gonna put a towel down here and sunbathe. Look at that, I've not been able to open that door. Oh, it's amazing. This is better, isn't it? Oh my God, I'm so happy now. The wind is back. Honestly, what time is it? I was so excited to have a barbecue that I the sun came out with somebody then. 
it's now seven o'clock and this is what we're dealing with so it's freezing it's really windy <laughs> so we're probably not gonna light the barbecue oh god we'll just do it on the stove if not I'm just so over this wind. I don't know, I thought that coming down to Cornwall in the middle of July would be nice. I really thought it would be nice. But here I am, lying in a tent, not knowing if I'm going to blow away or not. <laughs> if you don't laugh, you'll cry. And we've already done that. <laughs> Honestly, I just can't wait to go over and watch Love Island. I was meant to be here 10 days. I am not here 10 days. Stuff that. Get me home, I reckon. So the weather tomorrow's meant to be just dry. Probably windy. Probably not dry. Um, but yeah, if it's dry, it's not meant to be sunny, but that's perfect for walking. So we're just gonna go a massive hike tomorrow. like. 20 miles maybe 15 miles or something coastal uh path. and then we can go to all the beaches on the way as well so we'll take a towel and stuff and then the day after friday is meant to be 20 degrees for sun so we'll stay for that and then we're either gonna pack up friday night mm, we'll see what the weather says saturday because that's so so at the moment so we'll either go Friday, Saturday or Sunday. But if it stays like this, it's just the wind. Like as soon as that wind drops, it's so nice. I don't know, is it just me? Or am I just being my day? I don't know. <laughs> oh, I was so happy when we were sunbathing. That lasted an hour, but it was the best hour the best hey dear oh at least she's having a nice time just like when it's like this there's just nothing else really to do like you either sit in the car or sit in a tent we've got no signal whatsoever either like we can't even talk to anyone <laughs> I look so rough as well. I literally cannot wait to go home and go to the gym and start eating normally again. Get me on my sofa with my hot chocolate. I could not get that barbecue on, so we're on the stove. But it's looking good. So this is where we're staying, just at the top of that cliff. And good morning. Today is a new day. Last night there was no storms, no rain, no wind. It was so peaceful. Oh my gosh, I can't believe what a difference it makes. Also, I was able to cook dinner outside. Um, Today we are doing my favourite thing, which is a coastal walk, a coastal hike. We are going from Bedrees and Steps, which is where we're staying, and we're going to head north, so towards Pad Padstow. We're not going to go quite as far as Padstow. I reckon maybe Trevone, Ty Tyrone, I don't know what these beaches are called. <laughs> That would be about 12 miles, I think. Oh, I don't even know. I'll just have to... We're just going to take it easy. Like, obviously, there's, like, beaches on the way. 
so we're gonna stop every now and then enjoy it we've packed our lunch and snacks and yeah we're just gonna take it easy see how we get on because we've got all day today it's forecast no rain but obviously we've packed accordingly for all occasions <laughs> um and then yeah today should be a good day today should be a good day each day is getting better tomorrow it's forecast 20 degrees full sun so tomorrow will be a proper chilled out day why is this so zoomed in i don't know but yeah tomorrow should be a chill day and then i'm quite ready to go home to be honest <laughs> i'm in for it now do you know what i mean as long as i've got my coastal walk in and we get some chill time tomorrow i'm happy i'm good i'm really quite happy to just go home so i'm just gonna go with the flow like i don't actually need to be home till another week but stuff staying here another week i'm so done with camping camping alone like i've been on so many holidays by myself and i've never felt like lonely or anything but camping it has made me feel a little bit lonely i think it's because you can see all the other tents and they're all with someone and then there's me just having a barbecue by myself like you know if i couldn't see them and i was just having a barbecue by myself it wouldn't bother me but i just feel like a bit of a loner well, i don't know i think i'm all in my feels because i'm overtired <laughs> oh it's been emotional hasn't it what an experience this is a holiday i'm never gonna forget <laughs> oh god I get so fascinated with things like this, but then I get so scared of looking over the edge. And what if the edge just crumbled? Look at that beach. That tiny bit of beach. The tide's literally in all the time. Oh god. Oh my goodness, look at this beach. This is incredible, and we're here by ourselves. This is why I love coastal walks. There's a little cave there, I don't know if I dare. Oh my god, I literally feel like getting in. I might do. Not getting in, but... Yes! Yes! Yay! <laughs> oh my god! I can't get over what a difference a day makes. Whee! Actually, in my element. Don't go too far! Whee! <laughs> We're approaching another beach just around the corner. This is Porth Cothen, I think. Amazing. People are in the sea. I, I, I don't think the sea is for me today. I'll paddle. Oh, <laughs> 
how have I not figured out how to use this camera 10 years on? Oh look, the wind's back. Fantastic. All right, we're on my last battery anyway, so <laughs> we might be home by the time this battery runs out. Wow, anyway, look how rough I am. And yeah, I've still made a friend. I made a friend this evening. This is the um, the update, solo camping update. I can't remember his name. <laughs> I can't remember his name, but he lives in this black little van just there. There's lots of vans now tonight, they're all rocking up now. But yeah, he lives in the little black van and he's from Germany, he's come over and he came over and sat on my bench for about two hours and we spoke about the weather mainly. <laughs> but oh my God, I can't tell you how much that's like cheered me up. Just, this is one of the most lonely holidays like i've done holidays by myself a lot a lot but i've never felt lonely like this holidays actually made me feel lonely i don't know what it is but yeah that was really nice oh i'll tell you what else it is it's not just you see everyone else in their couples it's because um i've got nothing in here in this tent like no distractions which is kind of a good thing but it's also like being in an asylum because obviously there's no windows this is like one of the first well second time I've had the door open so yeah when I'm just sat in that tent there's no windows there's no signal there's no nothing I'm literally just sat there and I think that is why I felt lonely this time uh, because I've not been able to get out much because of the weather so do you know when i'm like out on that bench that bench is an absolute godsend that's oh my hair keeps getting stuck in this but yeah the um the bench i love the bench like to be able to go and sit on the bench and eat your food is a real luxury but we've not been able to do that all week have we so yeah earlier me and the man from Germany was sat on that bench for two hours and it was really nice it really broke up my isolation maybe we'll be friends again tomorrow and tomorrow the weather's gonna be really nice but I did warn him that it's gonna be bad tomorrow so um, he might go back to Germany now or because I told him it's, bad, it's gonna be bad I hope I've not ruined his holiday this is horrible. I've got sunburn as well, so I think the sun's affected that as well, whatever that is. I'm just minger really. I've not brushed or washed my hair. I just can't wait to go home now. I have had a good time really. It's been a really good experience. <laughs> it's been one hell of an experience. But really good and really bad and it goes up and down like that like one minute you can be having the worst time of your life and then in the next five minutes you're having like the best time of your life it is mad a mad roller coaster of emotions but here we are oh i was in my pajamas as well when i met my new friend rock and roll He was actually really quite impressed at my setup and how I've coped the last several days in the wild weather. I am actually really impressed myself. Like I know I've moaned on about it all week, but you know on Monday when I got here and I put the tent on myself, like that's an achievement in itself. 
everyone else here, I've watched struggle. ST Ruggle. They have been like moving the tents in the middle of the night, tying them down with benches and whatnot. The two of them, all, all these lovey dovey couples, but not me and Tia. Right, I'm gonna go because this spot is gonna just break my screen. I mean, that is a view. Before I go, one final thing. Remember, remember this. It is better to be somewhere by yourself than with the wrong person. That is what I've been reminding myself today. I'd much rather be here alone than with the wrong person. Good night. I'm packing. It is time to go. I'll talk to you though, one last time. I'm just over it, man. I'm just over it. <laughs> I have a, a good time, but I've also had a bad time as well. Like, I've been to Cornwall several times and every time it's been amazing. Maybe I've been over spoiled. I don't know, but I am so ready to go home. Uh, my stove doesn't work this morning. <laughs> So that was like my cue to go. I couldn't make a coffee and I've got um, a blister on my thumb from where I've like been trying to make it go. <laughs> so yeah, that was definitely my cue to go. This fat spot needs to go. And we're gonna go home. We're gonna get fit as anything. Ugh. I can't wait. I actually can't wait. It's a little trip like this that makes you appreciate home a bit, isn't it? <laughs> As you can hear, it's really windy yet again. So this is meant to be the nicest day. And yet it's not. Like I'm sat in a rab coat in the middle of July. I came this time two years ago. 5th of July I came and I was in a bikini. I'm really baffled by it, to be honest. <laughs> I'm baffled. <laughs> oh, listen to it. <laughs> so I've got to try and get this tent down in the gale force winds. Oh, for God's sake. I'm home. <laughs> I'm over it. I've survived. The spot's gone. Oh, well, shit. Just about. And. <laughs> I've been back home like a week or two now, so yeah, I'm, I'm fully recovered. <laughs> but the tent is not being packed away yet. We have something really exciting coming up. So I'm going to try and post a video every Wednesday evening, so look out for it. Look out. You know I am inconsistent, so it might not be that. It might be, but just look out. <laughs> but yeah, we're getting back in the tent very soon. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching me have the best time in Cornwall. <laughs> I uh, I shall see you in the next little camping trip, I guess. 